He goes up high. There's traffic low. Joey Logano steps into history. He's a three-time Cup Series champion. NASCAR fans, are you ready for this? We just witnessed one of the most epic finales in a long time. Joey Logano just pulled off the ultimate comeback to clinch his third Cup Series championship and a consecutive third for Team Penske. This guy went from almost being eliminated to totally dominating in Phoenix. Did anyone else see this coming? The playoff grind, that shocking second chance after Bowman's disqualification, Logano made every lap count to bring home another title. And then there's the insane battle with Ryan Blaney his own teammate, pushing him to the limit. This race had it all. Intense pit stops, high stakes passes, and a finale showdown between teammates that had us on the edge of our seats. What would you have done if you were in Blaney's shoes, going up against your own teammate for the win? And how about Logano, coming back from the brink of elimination just to show up and own Phoenix? Did you think he could actually pull it off with his signature grit and killer instinct? He made sure this season finale was an unforgettable showdown. Stick around, because we're breaking down every crazy moment of this nail-biter race and celebrating an insane season that's left us all wanting more. Let's get into the legend that is Joey Logano. The 34-year-old from Connecticut is now a three-time champ, joining an exclusive club with NASCAR legends like Tony Stewart and Daryl Waltrip. But this title wasn't just handed to him. Nah, Joey had to fight for it. After a roller coaster of a season and some insane playoff drama, he made it to Phoenix and brought it all home for Team Penske. This guy just loves the playoffs and showed us why. Now here comes Logano. Watch that bright yellow shell. Pennzoil forward. Logano extreme to the driver's left. Down low and that's a race change lead move. This has been an extraordinary season of motor racing. This is Blaney's final shot at it. He goes up high. There's traffic low. Joey Logano steps into history. He's a three-time Cup Series champion! Paul Wolf, the architect up on the pit box. Now, we can't talk about Phoenix without bringing up the epic Team Penske competition between Logano and his teammate, Ryan Blaney. These two were neck and neck, and Blaney wasn't gonna let Joey take the title without a fight. He was on a mission to win back-to-back -back titles and become the first driver to do that since Jimmy Johnson's legendary streak back in 2010. But Logano had different plans. Here's where it gets spicy, folks. Earlier in the playoffs, it looked like Logano's season was over after the second round. He was about to to pack it up and go home, until fate threw him a lifeline. When Alex Bowman got disqualified, Joey snagged the last spot in the round of eight. Next race in Vegas, he took the win. Talk about a comeback story. This man made the most of his second chance and used those three weeks to gear up for Phoenix. Team Penske absolutely dominated this season. This is their third NASCAR championship in a row, and the first time in history they finished one. Two in the championship standings. Add that to their Indianapolis 500 win and the World Endurance Championship, and you have the Penske powerhouse. Even Roger Penske himself was worried those last laps. He was afraid his two drivers might crash each other out, but they kept it clean. You could see that pride on his face. Straight, that is unbelievable. And then to look at another three, that guy up there, can you believe he's done it now three times? It's just hard to believe the whole team today and throughout the season, I always say it's about the people. Quite honestly, to see the cars finish one, two, three in a row for us. And ironically, Shell must be a good omen for us because we won the 500. I didn't want to have that happen at all. I wanted one of them to win and not both of them be out. To see the outcome is amazing. And uh, to think after, what, 38 races, we're in one, two at the end in the championship, so I couldn't ask for anything more. But here's something a lot of fans don't know. Penske's not just an icon in racing, he's a business genius. He's a trailblazer in the business-to-business -business model and owns the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, IndyCar, and the Indy 500. When this man sets a goal, he doesn't stop till he smashes it. Penske now has five NASCAR Cup championships and that puts him on the same level as the greats like Joe Gibbs Racing. What a race, what a Team Penske battle there at the end. Had a good restart and was able to get a front of the 12 and that's all I had there to hold them off. So it's really special from already to get to that. Paul Wolf, what a crew chief do I have? I got the best team. I don't know if I'm the best driver, but I got the best team. We're very well-rounded and can show up when it matters the most. So we get a mentally tough team that can make things happen and it matters. And one, two for Team Penske, three championships in a row since this next gen car. All right, let's break down this intense Phoenix race. If you're as hyped as we are about NASCAR, Make sure to drop your thoughts in the comments, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell for the latest NASCAR news and driver stories. From the jump, it was clear this was gonna be a dogfight. Joey took an early lead, but Blaney wasn't giving an inch. Byron and Reddick kept the pressure on too, staying in the top spots. At one point, Christopher Bell was out front, 
and it looked like he could go all the way. But after some pit stops, a late race caution, and a lot of strategy, Logano grabbed the lead back and held off Blaney till the end. Blaney tried everything to get up there. If there'd been one more lap, who knows, he might have taken it. Really hard to do so, just restart didn't really work out, and just got too far away from me, and it took me a while to kind of pass a couple guys, and hey, I ran out of time, but congrats to him, congrats to the 22 team. You know, they put together, you know, great playoffs, and if we're gonna race somebody, I'm, I'm happy it was him for the championship, and happy to be one, two for Roger, three in a row for Roger, is super amazing and forward, and really puts a lot of effort into our program, and uh, just super fast, just didn't quite have enough there at the end. Yeah, but at least the Pepsi car won it, but uh, yeah, heck of a battle, hope the fans enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, hopefully we come back even stronger next year. But Joey was just untouchable in those final moments sealing the deal by 0.330 seconds. We gotta give a shout out to the other contenders too. William Byron and Tyler Reddick didn't make it easy. Byron tried every strategy trick in the book and took third, while Reddick, racing for Michael Jordan's 2311 racing, brought home a solid sixth place finish. These guys gave it their all and their teams were pushing hard, but it just wasn't their day. We just need a little bit more. I felt like we gave it all we had, you know, and, and that's something to be proud of. We just didn't have enough to go fight with the, the Pinsky guys. So I could, at times, kind of inch up on them. But I felt like the short and the long run, they just were, were better. And kind of the mid portion of the run, I'd be a little bit better. But Rudy made a great call. I was really proud of that. That was, uh, that was cool to give us a shot, you know, and uh, give us a shot at the front row and ultimately net it out better. But yeah, just not quite enough, but so proud of this team. Oh, and did y'all know MJ's team was in the mix? Tyler Reddick was out there driving his heart out for 2311 Racing Jordan's team. They've come a long way since they started in 2020, and Reddick was hyped to have his airness in his corner. Jordan even appreciated Reddick after an insane win in Miami to secure his spot in the playoffs. MJ's got the competitive spirit, and he's here to win in NASCAR too. Now, with this third title, Logano stands shoulder to shoulder with legends like Tony Stewart and Cale Yarbrough. And if he keeps going like this, who knows, maybe he'll one day catch up to the big three, Richard Petty, Dale Earnhardt, and Jimmy Johnson. But NASCAR fans, it's not just about titles. It's about those unforgettable moments, the rivalries, and the passion each driver brings. So what's next for Team Penske, Logano, and the entire NASCAR world? One thing's for sure, the competition isn't letting up. Blaney, Byron, Reddick, they're all coming back hungrier next year. And let's be real, this sport just keeps getting more intense. So NASCAR Nation, get ready for 2025. Who's gonna bring it next season? And congrats again to Joey Logano and Team Penske for a legendary one. Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's get this discussion rolling. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe for more interesting stories and updates from everything NASCAR. Do share this video with your friends. Until next time, keep the conversation going on Lucky Dog on Track.